Hi, this is Mrs. Clark, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Valentine's teddy bear mystery pixel art. You can write your own questions, and we'll code it so that it'll appears piece by piece. So click on the link in the description if you want this exact template. You can follow along with me, but I hope this will also help you if you're coding your own artwork. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is come up to the percentage and change it to 75 so that everything fits on the screen. The next thing I'm going to do is write my questions and answer them. You can write questions by clicking and typing in the box. And then you can adjust the font and you can slide these in and out as well. So go ahead and write your questions and your answers. Now we're going to talk about the actual coding. We are going to write 10 codes one for each of these boxes here. So we're only coding the answer boxes. When we code, we need to tell the computer three things. So take this box. We need to tell the computer the column that this box is in, the row of the box, and the answer to my question. The column is B. The row, if you come over here, you can see it's shaded. The rows are four, five, six, but for the code, you put the first number. So the row is four. And the answer is 9. For this one, the column is B, the row is 7, and the answer is 3. The column here is B, 10, February, B, 13, Mercury. So basically, I'm just telling the computer the column and row of the box so that it knows what box I'm talking about. And I'm telling the computer what needs to be in the box in order for the code to work. And here's what the code actually looks like. So it's all those things I just said, but with a couple symbols in it. Equals dollar sign column dollar sign row equals answer. For example, the code for this one is going to be equals dollar sign B dollar sign four equals nine. This one will be equals dollar sign B dollar sign seven equals three. And that's the code that we're going to write. So with that being said, let's click on the first box that we want to code and open our coding window. Come up to Format. If you don't have this menu, click there and open Conditional Formatting. And this is our Conditional Formatting window. We start at the bottom. So we need to tell the computer what color we want to work with. And I am going to choose one of the 10 colors that's in the teddy bear. Let's pick the darkest red. I have to be able to find it on this paint bucket, and I think I know what it is, but I always click on this first just to kind of look and make sure I know what color I'm talking about. Second from the right on custom. Okay, click back on the box you're actually coding, which is this one. Paint bucket, and this is the red I was just looking at. Now I'm going to write my code. Click on this, come all the way down, pick the last option, it's custom formula is. Underneath that, there's a box. That's where we're going to write our code. Equals dollar sign B, because that's the column this box is in. Dollar sign 4, that's the row. Equals 9. That's the answer to my question. Now, keep this window open, but I'm going to close it just to show you real quick. This code is technically finished. I said, if there's a 9 in the box, turn it red. If there's not a 9, don't turn it red. And so the code actually works. What I want to do is now add in some of these pixels to the existing code so that when this box turns red, so do these ones in the teddy bear. So we have our code open and this is the last step is to add some pixels. Click on this button here, a window pops up, slide it to the left, and I'm just going to select the other pixels I want to add to this code. But first, I have to hold down the control button or the command button if you have a Mac. Then I can click on the pixels in my teddy bear that I want to turn red. The reason I'm holding down control is because that lets me click on multiple things and they all stay selected. This nine box also needs to be selected. If it's not anymore, click on it and make sure it's, it's um, outlined in blue just like all of these. Now I can lift up on control, pull this window up, and I need to do three steps to finalize. Step one is to click OK on the range. Step two is to click Done on the code. And step three, really important, come up to the paint bucket and click Reset. Now let's test it. Click off of it because a bunch of stuff is selected. Click on the nine box, hit Delete or Backspace, 
disappears. Put the nine back in, you have to click off of it for it to activate, there it is. But you don't wanna keep that nine in there because otherwise you might get confused about what has or has not been uh, coded. So take the nine out and your teddy bear should be disappearing as you go, that's good. All right, now click on the three box. That's the next one we're going to do. Click add another rule. And we start at the bottom, picking our color. Let's do the darker pink. And I am going to click and find it. So when I click on this, the pink is the one that's in the middle of the custom colors. Now click back on the box you're actually coding, which is this one. And here we go. Start at the bottom, pick the color you want it to turn. Next, click on Format Cells If and go down to Custom Formula Is. Now we'll write our code telling the computer the column and row of this three box and that it needs to have the three in it. Equals dollar sign B, that's the column. Dollar sign seven, that's the row. Equals three, that's the answer. That code is technically done and we just wanna add the pinks from the teddy bear to the code. To do that, click on Apply to Range and slide this window over. Keeping that three box selected there, so hold down control so you don't lose anything, and we're going to click on all of these darker pinks. And if there are any that you're not sure about, or you click on a lighter pink instead, that's fine. It's just shading. It'll still look good. But if you do say click on one you didn't mean to, just click on it again and it'll take it off. Now lift up on control, pull this window up, and we're going to do our three steps. Hit OK on the range, done on the code, and finally, reset on the paint bucket. Click elsewhere, and now click on that three, delete the three, and the pink disappears. Put the nine and the three back in, and we should have a full teddy bear. There it is. All right, delete the nine and the three, but you can see on the right there that the codes are still there. And let's do our next box. I'm going to click on the box I actually want to code, which is February. Click add another rule. This time I'm going to do the black. So I don't need to find that in the paint bucket because it's black. So I'm just going to come down and start. Click on the paint bucket and we say we're going to turn it black. Come up to format cells if custom formula is. And then we'll write our code telling the computer the column and row of that black box and that it needs to have the word February in it. 10 equals February. Now, notice that it turned white to show me the code didn't work. It changes color if it works. That's because February is a word. And if your answer is a word, you have to do one extra step. You have to put quotation marks around the word, just like dialogue in a book. And then it'll turn black to show us that it did indeed work. Now click on apply to range, slide this over, hold down control so you don't lose that big box and click on all the black in your teddy bear. There we go. Uplift on control and now you have three steps to do. Try to think what they are. Okay on the range, done on the code, reset the pixels. I want to show you a little bit of a trick. You'll notice that, let's see here, 9, 3, February, the code works, but if you turn the box black, you can't see the text anymore. It's not a big deal, but something you can do, let me open the code. You can also change the font color too. So I can say, turn the box black and turn the text white. So that's something I can do. Let's do our next box. Click on the box you want to code and click add another rule. Let's do that darkest brown. So it's all the brown here, up here, and then a couple on the edge of the teddy bear. Click on it because I want to be able to find that. So fourth from the right, okay? Now I have to be careful. I click back on the box I'm actually coding. Come over to the paint bucket, select the color. Now I'm going to write my code, telling the computer the column and row of that mercury box, and that the computer needs to have mercury written in the box in order for it to work. So it is column B and row 13, and the answer is mercury, and I put it in quotes. Now I'll add to the range, hold down controller command so that the mercury box stays selected, 
and then I'm going to click on all of the browns. And you may have seen there that I just like misclicked and it made me start over. That's very normal. This process at first can seem kind of hard and there will be times where we accidentally like misclick and it deletes everything or like it unselects all the pixels, I mean, and then I have to start again. That's why small projects like this are good because it does just take some getting used to. Once you do it for a while, it'll seem a lot easier. Lift up on control and now I'll do my three steps. And actually look at this, the mercury box isn't selected anymore. So I'm actually gonna push control down again and click on it so that it's added back in. There it is, B13 to B15. Okay, now I'll do my three steps. Okay, done and reset. Take that off. Back in. Okay, I have six boxes left and six colors left, so I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit and then we'll check in at the end and see how it looks. When you're finished, it should look like this with no pixels left behind. And as I click through all these empty boxes, the codes should pop up on the right in the coding panel. I'm going to close that now. We'll put our answers in and see how it looks. And there's our bear. I want you to know that coding pixel art can seem really daunting at first. So if you make mistakes, that's really normal. I know I did, and it will get easier. This video here is called Pixel Art Common Mistakes and How to Fix Them. That'll show you how to fix anything, like if you left pixels behind or if these boxes aren't changing colors. So check that out if that'll help you. And let me know if you have any questions and have fun coding.